We are back for part two of behind the scenes look at Stoner Car Care. They're located in beautiful Lancaster County, which is actually where I live here with my family. They gave my husband and I full access to their lab, factory, even warehouse, where we were able to learn so much about Stoner Car Care. They were founded in 1942 by Paul Stoner, who was a chemist who saw some needs within his local community as well as within the industry. And from his few first concepts, that has grown into a business that is now third generation family owned business that is award winning as well as sold internationally. In part one, we got to speak with their lead chemist, Dr. Bob, as well as many of their team to see how they actually come up with their products from ideas to formulas to actually bottling their own products. Their brand consists of popular products like Invisible Glass, Motzenbacher's Liftoff, Little Joe, Little Pup, as well as their Stoner Car Care lineup. This was such an amazing opportunity for me as a detailer to really see what goes into creating a company of this magnitude. <laughs> wow. It does. Up, Andrew. What's up, Andrew? Well, this was all recently. Yeah, when that, you know, and that we're turning that constantly. So that's amazing. Well, you actually, we get worried when there's empty racks because you know, it goes quick. You really want that full in no time. Because you can see all the. He's already shipped. Amazon's on that. That's ready to go. So this is how like. So from factory to warehouse, I got to see it all. I even got to speak with Rob Eklund, the grandson of Paul Stoner, who is now the owner, who on his weekends drives an Aston Martin for Eklund. the IMSA National Racing Series. Mostly in the summers, uh, when I came into business full time, he was only here a few years before he passed away. So I did get to work with him in the business professionally. I guess I was a high school, you know, high school kid working in the summers. Yeah. But, uh, what What do you see for Stoner in the future? I think more of the same. Yeah. You know, it's continued growth, expansion, both in the U.S. and internationally, um, building the brands. Yeah. Getting the brands positioned with the uh, the end users. Okay. You're in yeah. the UK. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good in UK, Australia, Japan, Indonesia. I mean, in, in terms of a fairly good brand presence. It's probably so hard to compete with an international market. It is. Let alone, brand. In, yeah. you know, yeah. here in the States, yeah. there's so many. But I, I mean, I don't even know half the market or the products the US that are in the largest market by far, right? Yeah. Because yeah. I know I have a lot of viewers from either Australia or the UK, and they're like, we can't even get that here in Australia. The other thing that people don't think about, a lot of times you can't just take our product and send it there because it might need a label change, it might be different regulations that have to be. So again, it takes time and research to do the regulatories to get that all put together so we have the right stuff on the label so it meets yeah. all the legal requirements. So that's probably the biggest holdup of international, it's just all the different rules and laws across the world and they are so different. Yeah. Have you talked about Little Joe at all? Again, we have this line, Little Joe, which is our air freshener. Air freshener. Right. I, yeah. see, I see the little thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so that's, that's a great line. Great line. Well, that's Swiss based, okay. manufactured in Northern Italy. But they've got distributors in about at least 50 to 70 yeah. countries around the world. So that one is probably, that brand is probably most internationally distributed that we own. Okay, and how long do those little Joe air fresheners last? Years, no. <laughs> it's it's, it's uh, where goes that marketing? Like, <laughs> yeah, right, right. Um, Forty to sixty. Well, what do you say? Sixty. Forty-five. Days, we say forty-five days on yeah. the package, and, and I can say this with absolute certainty because yes. we were forced to test this because we did it. We sold them online or on TV, and that online shopping network made us test. Well, you can't just get on and say something yeah. without having testing. So we had to test by an independent company. 
They did 45 days, they gave us a thumbs up. We said, well, test it in 60 days. It was good to 60, and we stopped there just because it was spending more money. And we're way past what we say. We already claimed 45 days, but they'll do 60. I think some of them, depending on the fragrance I've had last 90 days, high quality operation is literally making these scents. And it's unique because the scent's infused in the polymer. It's like a plastic, so it comes out over time. Really, so so introduce me to detailing. I always like I actually had, um, I was the Blank Survival College, I was the housekeeping supervisor, and so I became a little bit more familiar with the kind of, Yeah, I had to understand, I, I would polish the big floors, and so I was putting those ceilings, polishing those floors, had to learn about carpet care and different things like that, and so I had the basic knowledge for, chem for chemicals that way. He showed me the exterior as far as carpet care, in fact, your aerosol polish and the stub waxes that you guys had from what I started off with detailing. I like the fact that you guys are a family owned business and when you've been around for so long that you've been really, you're not just a bad, you're not riding the wave of, oh, this hot new product and the products that you have really perform well for your customers. So I, I can respect that and, you know, get behind that. So, and I, I love supporting local as well. So, I mean, Dave, I didn't even know Stoner was local to me. He always just used it. And then Sky was like, yeah, we're in Lincoln. So I was like, why, why did I not know that? Yes. She's like, yeah, I knew that. And I'm like, well, why didn't you tell me, you know? I would have, you know, veered maybe a little bit more towards that to support local. So, so yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of really great products, and I'm excited for what you guys have coming out. I think it's going to be really cool. Thank you for your time. It was a pleasure to meet you. So while we're showing you some shots of a BMW that we're getting ready to detail, I just want to say a final thank you to the team over at Stoner Car Care for being just the most gracious and wonderful hosts, for allowing my husband and I to come and have full access to your company from the lab, factory and warehouse, and just answering all of those burning questions that I had. Some of them were a little invasive and they still answered every single question that I had and just provided so much insight and education into not only their company, but also just the chemical side of the detailing industry. It was so much fun. Not only were they gracious hosts, but they actually were very giving hosts and they sent me home with a large five gallon bucket filled to the gills with some of their products that I think we're gonna be able to put some of them to the test today. So we're working on this BMW today for my customer and she did actually let me know that it was going to be a lot of work and she wasn't kidding. So we saw part one where we had an inside look at stoner car care like really has never been seen before. And now we're gonna put some of their products through the ringer. This BMW is definitely gonna put up a challenge, especially on the interior, exterior. So let's go ahead and see what these products can actually do. Now I want you to make note, these products were sent to me to test out, but they did not pay for this video. They were gracious enough to open up their doors, but my feedback is gonna be 100% genuine, authentic. You're gonna be able to see these products in the real world being put to the test. So I can't wait to see the end result. Let's see what they can do. So these were the products that they were more than gracious to send me home with to test out. I've been working with a couple of these products uh, the last couple of weeks just to kind of put them through the ringer. The Quick Detailer is one of their tried and true products. I've been using this for years, but in the aerosol version. But this is as good as it gets when it comes to Quick Detailer. Just literally wipe on, wipe off, and you are able to protect and clean your vehicle all in one. This wheel cleaner can also be used on their tires. It has a really nice thick formula to it, so it gives you clinging capabilities. When you combine it with their brake dust eraser, which you might be thinking, ah, that's gonna be too aggressive. This is a fantastic 
wheel cleaning pad. I've used this on some pretty bad wheels lately and it takes all of the grime right off. When you combine the two, you've got the lubrication of the wheel cleaner and the scrubbing capability of the brake dust eraser, but it's not abrasive. It kind of softens as it gets wet. And these are a powerful combination to use together. Trim Shine is one of their best-selling products. Phil Miranda over at Miranda Detailing, this is one of his favorites. It's a vinyl and plastic coating, and you can see they have an aerosol version as well as a trigger version for those of you that don't want any sort of overspray. They're more shine tire finish. This is gonna be very similar to like a Superior Products coverall. You can see shines and enhances natural color. Long lasting, rain resistant, dries to the touch, no sling. So for those of you that like an aerosol tire shine, but don't wanna deal with sling off, this is the product you want to try out. Now, coating wash is really cool technology that is behind this. You can see electrostatic charges build a dual layer coating for long lasting shine and protection. And what happens is that initial layer um, of hydrophobics that are on here are going to be sheeting. So what that does is as you're rinsing the vehicle, it's going to help prevent water spots as you're washing and drying your vehicle. And this is actually a product that you don't necessarily have to wax your vehicle every single time. If you were to maintain your vehicle with a product like this, it would actually give protection in between washes. So uh, this is a great product for those that maybe don't have the time to wash your vehicle. Maybe you're battling water spots as you're washing your vehicle. This is gonna help reduce that problem and also give you protection. And it's going to kind of be able to be stacked um, like two or three times. So it's gonna actually make the protection even stronger each time you wash your vehicle. Obviously their best-selling product, Invisible Glass, this is used in almost every household in America. Absolutely love this stuff. Great for cars and residential use. We have their upholstery and carpet cleaner. This is a foaming product that you can spray on if you have any quick spills that you need to clean up. This is great for kind of blotting technique. You can spray this on, agitate, you can extract afterwards or even blot after with a microfiber, but this is gonna do a really nice job of going after those everyday spills. They have their anti-fog. For those of you that live up north that are gonna be battling with this, this is a must have for your windshield. You can even put this on your kids' goggles in the summertime just to help reduce fog um, when they are in underwater. I did that for my kids' goggles this summer and actually worked really well. As long as they don't touch it and wipe it off, it's a really nice fog solution for your kids' goggles. But for vehicles, it's going to help reduce that issue of fogging up and give you safer driving, especially during the winter time. Their leather cleaner, this is going to clean and protect all in one. Really nice smell, and it's going to leave behind kind of a satin appearance to it. It's not greasy, not streaky, but you can tell that it has done something to enrich the leather. For those of you that have Jeeps and the plastic windows, this is a great product to use. It is going to clean like invisible glass, but it actually has kind of anti-static properties within it. Um, if you maybe work in the medical field also, these are great for those plastic dividers to help reduce static on them. And then we have their Clean Repel. This is going to clean just as good as invisible glass. I used this on every detail the last couple months as the final touch on my exterior glass and it will give the customer a little bit of hydrophobics for one to two weeks. These guys here to try to help freshen the interior, these kind of just clip right onto your vehicle. This is a newer product from Stoner. This is their hybrid ceramic liquid wax. This is going to protect for up to six months. Paste wax that you apply panel by panel. You don't wanna to work too far ahead of yourself where you might have some streaking issues, but you apply a light layer panel by panel remove and you're going to be able to have up to six months of extreme hydrophobics and protection really nice gloss and shine what i've seen so far of this product is really impressive and they also have a spray version they have their hybrid ceramic detailer this is going to give you up to six months of silky smooth shine and this is just as simple as spray on so buff off. let's go ahead and we're going to test out some of these products a lot of it is prep as far as vacuuming so let's get that out of the way and we'll get our tent set up and start washing the exterior and get this vehicle cleaned and protected. So I don't have any footage of me actually vacuuming because it took so long for me to do, but I just wanted to quick show you just how many tools, brushes, and attachments I had to use to get this interior transformed. It took about two and a half hours but now all we have are just really our serious stains and sticky stuff left behind. The worst was on this back seat. This was hard and crunchy and it actually smelled a little bit like sour milk and detergent. So I'm not 100% sure if that stain is going to come up. 
but a majority of the work has already been completed with a very thorough vacuum, but it's not just a quick process. Sometimes it can take some time, but now we have an easier job when it comes to stain removal, cleaning plastics, and glass. So the bulk of the work on the interior is actually just vacuuming. That took about two and a half, almost three hours total to vacuum out everything. You can actually see my hands are black afterwards. And yes, yes, I know I can wear gloves, but I don't like wearing gloves when I vacuum because I get all hot and sweaty and then I end up like dripping sweat down my arm. It's just awesome. But interior wise, everything cleaned up really well with just a good vacuuming. A lot of times when it comes to interiors, that's the bulk of the issue is just that people aren't really doing a good thorough cleaning. From there now, all we have to really do is clean our carpets with our extractor and our carpet and upholstery cleaner. We'll wipe down all of our plastics, get all of the staining, the stickiness off. We'll clean our leather, clean our glass, and the interior is done. So for those of you that are struggling with keeping your interior clean, the bulk of it is really going to be having a good quality vacuum. You can see I'm using my rigid vacuum crevice nozzles. I had a lot of different attachments and brushes, and sometimes you need that. You can't just have the big head and just kind of go after it. You need those detail things to kind of get in all the nooks and crannies and brushes are going to be able to give you the, that deep cleaning result. So we're done with the hard part. We're going to take a break for lunch. We're going to get the tent up. We're actually going to wash the exterior because the door jams are really grimy and so I need to use my Superior Products Dark Fury and my pressure washer to kind of blast all that stuff and because we might have some stuff drip on the carpets. We're going to get the exterior washed, door jams done, tires, wheels done uh, with our coating wash. And then once that is done, then we can finish up the interior, then put our protection on the outside, then put our tire dressing on, clean and repel. It's all process. It's, it takes time. You know what to do over time, but. So right off the bat, these tires and wheels, the tires are not bad, the wheels are. We can see there's quite a bit of caked on brake dust. Typically I would use an acid-based wheel cleaner, but this is a wheel cleaner that is safe for all wheel types. So what we're going to do is we're going to just spray this on heavily. You want a lot of lubrication, a lot of cleaning power. This isn't necessarily a color changing formula, but you can see it's just, it's staying. It's not really dripping off. A lot of products that I work with, I'm gonna almost instantly have a puddle down here at the base. This is really just sticking on there and it's loosening things. And it's still cleaning. I don't have any puddling under my tire yet. What's nice about that is that means I'm not going to have to use as much product. I mean, just look how bad those wheels are. So now we've got our brake dust ray. So this is an old one. I've been using this actually for a couple weeks. I've been using this almost with every detail. It does get softer as you use it, but typically the type of vehicles that I am seeing on a day-to-day -day basis, they have not been properly maintained. They maybe are you know, a little bit more neglected, uh, but let's say you are the type of person that either you're a detailer, you're seeing vehicles that are a little bit more neglected, or you don't like to clean your tires and wheels. So maybe you don't do it as frequently a tool like this is going to come in handy because it really just helps you cut through all of that stuff. But a few years back, I used to use a product from Nanoskin. It was their auto sponge. It feels very similar to that. It's not like an SOS scrub pad. I would never recommend that for a vehicle, but this, it seems to not uh, be super aggressive. You compare a brush like this and a scrub pad like this, I honestly feel like this is going to clean more thoroughly, but you're, you're similar. I mean, a brush is still an aggressive surface that's taking, basically it's ground down rock. That's what brake dust is. It's dust, which is basically microscopic stone. And you are taking that brush back and forth with that dirt. There's no way to prevent that. So wheels are going to get scratched, period. <laughs> There's no way to really avoid it unless you maybe ceramic coat them and are cleaning them once a week and being super careful with them. But the average vehicle that I'm seeing, they're not maintaining their wheels. Half the time, they're not even cleaning in the wheelbarrows. So when you are that person that just wants to cut through grime quickly, but you don't wanna have to be super aggressive, this actually is pretty I've actually forgiving. used this on black wheels that were pretty bad. 
and we didn't induce any scratches that I could notice. They were already pretty bad. So again, it's up to you whether you wanna use a tool like this, but for someone like me who is seeing vehicles that are pretty neglected, that a lot of times I don't wanna to have to spend 20, 30 minutes a wheel having to come in and delicately do this. And I just wanna cut through all that grime so those this wheels that, that were pretty caked on with brake dust, now they've been cleaned. We don't have any sort of brake dust left behind. Our tires look great. It did a really nice job. So that is the Stoner wheel cleaner, as well as their brake dust eraser. Now, mind you, this is probably four weeks worth of use. So it's probably getting close to the time, but it still works. And it just keeps getting softer and so softer. we just got done doing a high pressure rinse and now we are doing a foaming pre-soak with 3D Super Soak and just a splash of Superior Product Dark Fury. We got all of our bugs treated. Dark Fury is great for that, but we did have a lot of just heavy buildup of dirt on this exterior road film. You can almost see like right here where dirt has just kind of built up all of our seams window jams had a lot of dirt that had just kind of accumulated and so we need to do a really good kind of pre-soak and then we'll come in and be able to do a safe contact wash and for those of you that think a foaming pre-soak does nothing take a look at how using a proper alkaline degreaser as a pre-soak can just help remove a lot of that road film making your wash method a whole lot safer That is very nice foam that actually like I can feel I can feel the slickness to it there are some soaps that they just they feel watery this actually you can feel some lubrication within it and it reacted very quickly you can see on my clear bucket just how much foam it created so we've got an entire bucket of foam we're gonna go ahead do our contact wash because this paint had a lot of buildup of road film, tar, and just staining in general, we also did a quick clay towel treatment to decontaminate it, and that helped remove the staining on the paint without having to polish it. The soap did a really nice job of giving us lubrication to also be able to do that treatment, but I did notice that the foam kind of flattened out over time, so you'll notice me kind of activating the soap a few times in my bucket just to give me a little bit of more foaming capabilities. Also note that we washed the entire vehicle all at once. I didn't rinse the soap off in between panels. That will really help with the water spot prevention. Holy crap. That panel is almost completely dry by the time this is all said and done. Look at that. So that's real. Well, I'm not gonna really have to do a whole lot of drying. I mean, there's hardly anything too dry. And that is glossy and clean. All right, let's see what happens next. We still got sheeting. So I have well water for washing vehicles with, and it's extremely hard water. It's actually a TDS of over 200. Normally on back ends like this that stick out in the sun, I would we have, have issues. We have let that soap dry on this back hood. And I've used some soap similar to this in the past. And if I'd have let them sit in the direct sun, we would have had some major issues. But we were able to let that sit in the sun and kind of work around the rest of the vehicle, no issues that I'm seeing. So for those of you that want to see the description, you can go ahead and just pause real quick to be able to read everything that is within this bottle. And there's a lot, there's a lot of science in this one little bottle. And I'm very impressed. You can really see the benefits of that dual layer car wash. I have very hard water here. We have well water. I washed this back and just kind of let the soap dry on there. And 
even in direct sunlight, we don't have any sort of water spotting issue. What's left behind is really nice gloss and shine. We actually have a slickness to the paint that feels like we have applied a wax or seal. For those of you that are looking for a way to protect your vehicle, wash it safely, give you really nice gloss and shine, as well as help reduce the risk of water spotting issues, this is a great product to consider. I really think Stoner hit a home run with this product. I'm excited to work with it more in the future. We're done with the exterior other than our sealant. We are working on the interior and this is actually the worst of the vehicle. And this is actually pretty bad. I would probably struggle with my traditional professional cleaners. Um, so I am not expecting miracles with this. I honestly, this is probably one of the more ultimate tests that I could put this through. With a product like this, typically this is for maintenance. This is going to be a product that you can spray, let dwell, you can come in, use a brush, and then you can actually vacuum at the end. Because you're using a foam solution versus a liquid, it's not going to leave a lot of residue and it's gonna actually dry very quickly. So especially for those of us that are having to do any sort of carpet cleaning in the winter, this is a great option for one to consider for spot cleaning. Uh, it's almost like a dry foam. So we're not going to expect miracles with this. If we get it, it'll be, it'll be a shock. Now with a product like this, because it is more of a foam, we ended up doing multiple rounds of treating it with our solution, agitating. We rinsed it once, treated it again, agitated, and then rinsed again. For stains that are as heavy as this, I wouldn't necessarily recommend just agitating and vacuuming up. You're going to want to do some sort of extraction. I'm using my Aqua Provac with cold water. You can see after rinsing it once, it really helped kind of soften and loosen up a lot of the dirt. We treated it with our chemical again, agitated really well, and then rinsed with our extractor. Pardon my language. Hot damn, that did the trick. I didn't think it would, but it did. It took two treatments. We had to go a little heavy. I think it needed a little bit more moisture, honestly, to kind of help agitate, but it rinsed quick. We didn't have to chase a lot of foam and residue, but it did the job, and that was pretty nasty. I don't know what it was, but it did the trick. So if it can handle this, I'm pretty sure it can handle majority of stains and spills that you're going to see on the interior of your vehicle. So we repeated the same treatment on the rest of the interior of this vehicle. What I liked about this product, it didn't require a lot of solution for me to deep clean and it didn't require a lot of water for me to rinse that residue up. So the carpets actually dried pretty quickly, left behind a nice fresh scent and the carpets didn't have a crunchy appearance afterwards. So our carpets turned out really nice. I did not think that honestly it was going to be capable of doing it and it didn't take a lot of time, probably 30 minutes total for me to do all the carpets. Now I only have about an hour left before the customer is coming to pick up the vehicle. We have to apply our ceramic detailer on the outside, tire finish, cleaner glass, plastics and leather. So that's quite a bit to do in an hour. So I'm going to rapidly get that done and I'll bring you guys back for the finished result. You saw the leather before, we need to go ahead and do a deep cleaning, so stay tuned. We'll be right back with the end result. And for that cherry on top, we left a little pup new car scent, but from head to toe, inside and out, this vehicle was absolutely transformed thanks to the Stoner Car Care lineup. We used their power clean for plastics, leather cleaner, invisible glass, carpet and upholstery cleaner, interior looked and smelled like new. And I apologize, the customer came too soon, so I wasn't able to show you guys footage of the hybrid ceramic detailer. So we'll make sure that we do a dedicated video showing you that product in the future, as well as their tire shine. But here is what the end result looked like after we used those products. But I was extremely happy with how well they performed. If you guys have any questions about the products, make sure you let me know in the comments section down below. But thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, stay tuned for future videos that we have coming out. But thank you again to Stoner Car Care. But we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day.